Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back for grammar. So last week, um, we talked all about nouns. And we learned that a noun was a person, a place, or a thing. And so this week, we're going to take this one step further, and we're going to talk about pronouns. And you'll see in the word nouns, in the word pronouns, is the word noun. And that's because a pronoun is a word that can take the place of a noun. And it helps you as a writer so you don't keep saying someone's name over and over and over again. So if I was writing a story about Tommy, instead of saying Tommy went to the park, Tommy played on the swings, Tommy went down the slide, I could also say he. He would be the pronoun that is replacing Tommy in some of the sentences. Here's another example. Sonia rides horses. Instead of saying Sonia again, which would be repeating it, I can say she. She is replacing Sonia and is a pronoun. She is a good writer. There are two types of pronouns. Subject, which take the place of a person, and the object, which takes the place of a thing. Okay, if we're talking about more than one person, then we have to start to say they, them, we. If you are include, included, you're going to say we. If you're not included, then you're going to say they. Same thing for object. You would say us if it's you included, them if you're not in the group. So let's look here. Mr. Alvarez gives writing lessons. He gives writing lessons. So I can change Mr. Alvarez to he. Instead of saying the lessons, again, I can say they, meaning the lessons, are fun to learn. Both of these are taking place at the beginning of the sentence. The object ones come at the end. Horses love Mr. Alvarez. I could also say horses love him. Him would be the pronoun. Mr. Alvarez is kind to horses. Instead of saying horses, I could say them. Mr. Alvarez is kind to them. And I'm saying them because Mr. Alvarez is not a horse. Let's do some examples together. Circle the correct pronoun to take the place of the underlying word or words. Sonia has been writing for six years. So first of all, Sonia is a girl. And Sonia's name is at the beginning of the sentence. So this means she is the subject. Who the sentence is about is Sonia. I would say she. I wouldn't say her has been writing because that would be at the end. I would say she. She has been writing for six years. Mr. Alvarez found a gentle horse for Sonia's brother. So this time I'm talking about an object at the end. So here I'm talking about object and I'm talking about one of them. So I'm not going to say they because they would be plural at the beginning. Mr. Alvarez found a gentle for horse for him. Him is the object at the end here. Asia got in the saddle. He sat up straight in the saddle. So do you notice how it said in the saddle, in the saddle? We don't want to say that twice. The saddle is at the end, so it's an object. So I'm going to look over here at my chart to help me. Am I going to say saddle as him? No, because him is a boy. Am I going to say you? No, that would be referring to a person. I would say it. Let's make sure it makes sense. He sat up straight in it. Yes, it makes sense in this sentence. Now Sonia and Asia go riding together. Well, Sonia and Asia are who the story or the sentence is about. So there are the subject pronouns. There's two of them and they are not, they are not included. It's not saying I. So I need to say either them or they. Them would be if it was at the end, they is at the beginning. 
Now they go riding together. They is a subject at the beginning, replacing Sonia and Asia. Based off of the notes and the video lessons you're going to watch, it's going to be your turn to do 401 in the next few assignments. You will follow along just like I did, replacing the correct underlined word with the pronoun that matches.